Welcome to Lacoon Mobile Security's educational video series. In this episode, we'll provide a short overview of Mobile Remote Access Trojans, also known as MRATs. We'll cover various aspects, ranging from the threats of MRATs to the organization, to the different types of MRATs and their prevalence in the field. We focus on mobile because the introduction of smartphones and tablets into the enterprise caused defined corporate boundaries to collapse. It is not enough anymore to protect data through the tracking, monitoring, and blocking of nefarious traffic entering and leaving the corporate perimeter. Nowadays, sensitive data resides, is created, and consumed by the employees' iPhones, iPads, and Android devices. Increasingly, employees are using their own personal devices to connect to the corporate network in order to read emails, conduct work-related phone calls, log on to the organization's ERP and CRM systems, and to perform other business-related computing activities. These activities intensify once enterprise adopts solutions that facilitate mobile access to corporate resources. It is the mobile that has become the weakest link in the organization's security chain. By targeting the mobile device, a motivated attacker can gain full access both to sensitive business material and to the enterprise's internal network. In particular, an attacker can infect the mobile device with a mobile remote access trojan, also known as an MRAT. As its name implies, a remote access trojan takes full control of the sensors and the hardware of the mobile device without the owner's knowledge. An MRAT on an infected employee's device is capable of snooping on corporate emails containing contracts, eavesdropping on customer board meetings, accessing third-party apps such as Skype and retrieving the data of enterprise-dedicated apps in order to track roadmap activities. MRATs can also track a sales executive location and infiltrate the internal corporate network to retrieve, for example, sensitive passwords of corporate servers. What types of MRATs exist? The spectrum ranges from high-end ones used by governments to MRATs used within cybercrime toolkits, and even less sophisticated MRATs, which are basically commercial surveillance toolkits. Let's take a quick look at each. On the high end, there are military-grade MRATs, which are mainly created for and used by the governments. In fact, several sophisticated MRATs have already gained notoriety in the past year, such as Finn Fisher, a law enforcement MRAT which tracked individuals in over 25 countries. Finn Fisher's capabilities included activating the mobile's microphone, taking screenshots, and bypassing encryption methods. The mid-range of MRATs are mostly used by cyber criminals. In this category, we can find, for example, AndroRAT, which is an open source MRAT toolkit, which cyber criminals can bundle within legitimate Android apps. But MRATs do not need to be that sophisticated. Commercial mobile surveillance tools, sometimes targeted as parental controls and spouse monitoring, are effectively used also for personal and corporate espionage, as well as by law enforcement agencies. These commercial tools are sold for as little as $50 a year, and as you can see, are popular enough to garner their own ratings and review pages. To get a clear notion of how prevalent MRATs are in reality, Lacoon Mobile Security partnered in June 2013 with a global cellular network provider and randomly sampled 650,000 subscribers. Nearly half of MRAT infected devices were iOS based. It comes to show that when discussing mobile targeted threats, iOS is certainly vulnerable to these type of attacks. Furthermore, 13% of compromised devices were iOS 6 based, which signifies relatively new attacks as commercial mobile surveillance tools do not survive OS updates. The analysis also tracked the families of mobile surveillance tools. While one specific commercial tool, spy to mobile was dominant, Nearly half of the compromised devices were infected with 16 other different families of tools. Infection of mobile devices can be done remotely, such as via receiving an email containing the malware, or locally, for example through the usage of a USB cable. The various infection methods differ between Android and iOS-based devices. You can find those details in our upcoming YouTube videos which will separately present the cyber threats to Android and iOS-based devices. It is also important to note that mobile device management solutions, also known as MDMs, do not protect against MRATs. MDMs are a common IT tool to provision, track, 
and manage mobile devices in the enterprise. Unfortunately, they do not provide the adequate security measures to address targeted attacks. Why? For this, we need to delve some into the technicalities of MDMs and MRATs. So join us with our educational video bypassing secure containers on mobile, which provides a walkthrough of the process and also shows how to protect against MRATs. Thank you. For more information, follow us on Twitter, join our LinkedIn group, or email us using the contact address below.